I'm outside Presidio La Bahia. Welcome to Dude RV. Been traveling around the state of Texas again, and I have found myself in the community of Goliad. And right now, I'm outside Presidio La Bahia, built here in Goliad, 1726. This was the site of the first shot in the Texas Revolution. So we're gonna go take a look inside. And as we're headed to the front door, if this is your first visit to Dude RV, please click on the subscribe button. I do all kinds of interesting videos, one just like this. I'd appreciate you subscribing. I post new content every Sunday morning, 10 a.m. Central Time. We're here visiting Goliad State Park and no visit to the town of Goliad would be complete without going to the, the, the start, well, the first shot of the Texas Revolutionary War. It, it actually didn't start here, but the first shot was fired here. It's also the site of Zargosa's birthplace. That's the reason we celebrate Cinco de Mayo. That'll be in the Texas State Park video. I'm gonna do this one as a standalone as it is, it's not actually part of the Texas State Park. It's an independent, it's owned by the, still owned by the Catholic Church, as a matter of fact. So let's go inside and take a look around. So we are in the museum. The Presidio was actually founded in 1721, uh, but it was, was not relocated in, to here until 1726. 1726 and in this museum are all artifacts that have been found on site
So now we're in the courtyard. It's not air conditioned. So most of what we're seeing here was a, is a restoration on the original foundations completed in 1966 and funded by, I can't remember her name. All right, so we're gonna go look at the troops barracks. And the rampart. A strategic location. Goliad before 1836, after 1836. So Goliad was here, it got moved. You can definitely see a ways. We can see the Fannin Memorial from here. Soldiers were also farming <laughs> to provide food for themselves. <laughs> they had it good. <laughs> Why didn't they have an air conditioner? <laughs> that was funny. So they had gun ports. So they had gun, gun ports for the, the long muskets and cannons on the corners. I guess that's where they kept gunpowder. So the cannons could be fired down the wall or out into the field. Of course, they had a well, the way they could hole up in here, they wouldn't have to worry about going out to get water. All right. This is the cannon, or this is the size of cannon uh, that started. This is the one that the Mexican army was coming to take away or re reclaim after having given it to Texans to defend themselves. It was not mounted on this gun carriage. That was added later. I don't think that's the original cannon. We're here in the blacksmith shop. 
So we're in the chapel courtyard. Presidio La Bahia. Another rampart. And another cannon. So I guess this is where guards on, if they were on duty, and it, the weather was, was unpleasant, this was where they would stand watch. Gotta put the mask back on so we can go inside. All right, so we're here in the chapel, La Mahia. This is where Fanon's men were held captive prior to the massacre. So this site has been used for signaling by the Native Americans. Because of the elevation prior to the Spanish coming along. And we will move on and go see some more stuff. That's Presidio La Bahia, Goliad, Texas. A lot of history here, a whole lot of history. I hope y'all enjoyed this little tour of one of the most historical sites in the state of Texas. And once again, I'd ask you to subscribe if you've not already. If you have subscribed, thank you so much. I'm deeply honored that you're following me on this journey. Y'all come back now, you hear? <laughs>